guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. I am giving myself so much Selena today. It's crazy. Yes, come through Latinas. Shout out to all of my Latinas out there. It's just, you know, with the darker hair, I should have done a red lip. I'm here today with a major face-off, a major comparison. I got a request from one of my subbies and followers, Jane. Hi Jane, she emailed me asking me to compare these two bad boys. Yes, I have both and she was asking me, her main question was, is it functional to have both in your collection or in your lifestyle and what you use them for so can you please do a face off between the two of them and they would be obviously my Louis Vuitton mini pochette and my Louis Vuitton cosmetic case in the 15 size so obviously these are two absolutely iconic Louis Vuitton items great starter items and great useful SLGs, uh, which is acronym for small leather good. Um, they are both made up of the same materials, the same portions of materials. They are really close in price and they are suggested for two different uses. However, a lot of us in the Lux community use them for the same sort of things and that is a catch-all down inside our bigger handbags. And then it comes down to what you're using them as a catch-all for, like your most necessary needs or a makeup pouch. Obviously, straight up the measurements would be the comparison that's so, so close. Roughly coming in a bit bigger is the toiletry uh, case, and then a little bit smaller is obviously the pochette, the mini pochette. You can see that visually, but the size reference, if you are interested in centimeters, is what I have here. The mini pochette in centimeters measures 14 in length, 9 in height, and 2 centimeters in depth. And the actual toiletry is marginally bigger than that. Comes in at 14 centimeters in length, 10 in height, and 4 centimeters in depth. Obviously, I have them in the two canvases. Again, that's why it's such a good uh, sort of uh, battle of the items because one is in Damier Ibn canvas and one is in monogram canvas. These are the age-old questions. Which do you prefer? Which is more user-friendly? Which is the better one to buy? Which is a good starter canvas? The list is endless of answers for that. It is truthfully up to you, especially in an SLG, because you can swap and change out with other SLGs that you might have, not just by Louis Vuitton, but maybe Kate Spade or Michael Kors or Ted Baker. They complement other accessories so nicely as well. In SLGs, I do favor the monogram because I just feel like you just get a little bit of that kind of you know, LV print and the monogram feel, but it's not too much. And if people tend to worry about it being sort of in your face with the monogram print, you're just getting a little bit of it, just a little ding, and that's all. But I love the uh, Damier Ebin 2, and I love that this mini pochette, which was the first item I actually got in Damier Ebin in an SRG, and I wanted it so badly because I wanted that pop of cherry red down inside of it, which is the lining. So as I said, which is also such a big comparison is the price, the price range. Here in Australia, they currently retail for $375 for the mini pochette and $390 for the toiletry 15. So obviously if it's budget that is holding you back or you need to save a little more, you're obviously gonna have that little extra bit uh, to pay with the toiletry versus the mini pochette, but oh so close in price, oh so close in size. So let's move on to their details. So the actual details of these two SLGs is just so phenomenally close. And that is why this is such a great request as a comparison. And so many people, I guess, tend to want to know about these two items for extra compartments down inside their bags, what they can hold. So on each item, I'm gonna hold them next to each other rather than show them individually. You can see the two um, leather tabs. 
So they both have a leather tab, leather tab, sorry. Obviously the monograms is Vachette, so it's a raw cowhide. And then the mini pochette, which is in Demier Ibin, has the coated uh, leather there in the dark brown. But both of them have a leather tab. Both of them have an extension of their zipper. So the actual zipper extends past the canvas of the item. They both have this feature. They're so, so close. And then both have a zipper top closure in the golden brass hardware, which is just so beautiful, so smooth, obviously, because it's Louis Vuitton. So that is another feature which is just so incredibly close. Both zipper top closures, both having the pull tabs. The extension for access is really, really nice. And actually both have the opened gusset on the side. So here you have a folded in gusset on the toiletry. You have a rounded uh, sort of side to the mini pochette, but both of them are open. So you can see here, if you lift up the zipper on the mini pochette, you can just see the lining peeking through there. And if I lift it up here on the toiletry, you can obviously see that it goes through there as well. Pulls are the same. So you have the little zipper pull with the LV logo on the front and the LV logo engraved on the back. And they're both identical zipper pulls. There's no difference there. Pretty much on the top, it, the actual lengths are so, so incredibly close. I will say this is where they differ is that the width at the top so how high you stack items, it's going to be wider in the toiletry because you can see here the width is a lot wider at the top of the item. Now obviously holding the base of the items next to each other, you've literally got this two centimeter width, uh, the, sorry, depth all the way around of the mini pochette and then you've obviously got that four centimeter of the toiletry that is going to make a huge, huge difference in what they hold and what you use them for. Uh, but there are the bases uh, together next to each other so you can see. So there are two very standout features on these items that are so, so different. Obviously, with your mini pochette, you get this little one side detachable chain, thus making it almost this adorable, I've said this before in a review about this mini pochette, when I did that review way back when, I said it's almost like this adorable little want and need for it to be like this tiny little handbag and that's that's good too. I know that my girl, Linda, hi Linda, she uses this to, you know, go out on the town and go out for drinks or dinner with her hubby. And she just carries this like a little purse. And that is so incredibly cute. Um, I do know one of my uh, family friends and girlfriends, Bianca, bought this for her daughter in monogram for her first birthday. <laughs> so she has a little handbag. That is so cute as well. But this mini pochette's main feature feature sorry is this chain it is known for its chain a lot of people say well you know what do you use the chain for it is obviously just a really beautiful glamorous feature that is added to this it's not necessarily meant to be user friendly in the sense of carrying it like a handbag but it's meant to be so that you can detach the um um, claw clasp from one side. So let me get a good shot of that. So you can detach it from this side like so. You can reattach it on the other side. So you've kind of got like a little wristlet there. So that could be one use for it if you want to do it like so. Similar to a keychain extender on an insulate wallet or insulate organizer, you can attach there because it has the D ring. The other option is you can take it all the way off and hook it on a bag, one of your bags, if it has it. This is a Louis Vuitton Neverfull and it has the D ring here, which you can see. So we can drop that in to our bag and you can easily find your mini pochette, maybe it's got your, um, you know, most sort of um, ex um, accessible needs, things that you need, your credit cards or your car keys. You can attach it to your D-ring inside your bag there for a quick access, quick find. 
So that is a few ways that you can use the mini pochette chain. I do know some people atta can attach it to, you know, their belt straps or attach it to the outside of the bag, like a little mini bag, like a feature. And then that one feature that the toiletry has that the mini pochette does not have is this wipeable interior. So obviously being a toiletry, which in the toiletry line from Louis Vuitton, they have this wipeable leather lining. So if there's any spills or any stains, you can just go ahead, grab a baby wipe and just wipe it away, clean out your toiletry that way. Whereas the mini pochette has the canvas, grow grain canvas lining in the red. This is a feature of all toiletries and cosmetic cases that are used for cosmetic products and makeup and lotions and things like that. This is my uh, cosmetic case in the dome shape in the GM size in Damieri Bin. I just want to go ahead and quickly show you again. This has the leather lining that's wipeable as well and it's obviously in the bright pop of red there. Uh, but I just want to show you that they have that wipeable in the cosmetic uh, case as well as the toiletry cases. So here is the mini pochette's red canvas uh, grow grain lining. Uh, it means, grow grain just means it's a double weave. So if you look really closely, there's an across grain weave. So when it says fabric lined and canvas um, exterior, that's what it means. This is not wipeable. You can hopefully see down inside my mini pochette that it has collected lint down there. There aren't any stains, but it is a little dirt and a bit grubby down inside there. That is something you're not necessarily going to get in the toiletry uh, 15 for a comparison. This is their interior side by side. Obviously, you're going to see you can have a lot more space down inside that toiletry 15. So let's go ahead and load them up and compare them to what they hold. Okay, so here they are side by side. I've just got an easier shot this way. I do want to do this while I've got them here. I showed this in a vlog and somebody actually said to me, I can't believe, you know, you've got lipstick or like a, a lip liner on your mini pochette. You haven't wiped it away. Yes, I haven't wiped it away, but I didn't. I didn't wipe it away on purpose because I want to show you guys. So here are my uh, fragrance-free, alcohol-free baby wipes. I obviously had them because I have a baby. Uh, but that comes major in handy. I keep them on me anyway. I'm just going to grab that. This is the best method for cleaning canvas. So I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to lightly kind of scrub away that lip pencil. Just making sure I'm getting in sort of all the crevice of that canvas. You can see the lip pencil coming off there on the baby wipe. But because it's alcohol free, we're not damaging any of the canvas. And it just comes off nicely like so. A lot of people ask me how you clean canvas, how I clean it, and that's exactly how I clean it. Obviously that was a mark of a lip pencil. It was much more obvious uh, but just to wipe over your canvas is a really good idea as well just to get any other crap sort of off it. I'm going to start off with what I use them for which is kind of like a necessities pouch down inside my bag like a catch-all of thing of all things mixed. If I'm specifically going out of my way to have one as um purely makeup and maybe lotions and stuff I will say I definitely will use the toiletry for that because of its lining but I am going to just show you on a daily basis what I hold in both of these items so straight up we're going to use the mini pochette this is standing up only because I have my Hydra Beauty lip balm behind it it doesn't stand on its own like the toiletry 15 does don't be fooled um so I am going to show you what I put in this which would be a pen, a pen fits perfectly, my uh, lip balm from Chanel, maybe my Hydra Beauty Pot, I have had both in there this week, so I may as well go ahead and do that. I'll keep one lip pencil with me, the one that probably stained the front of it. Uh, I'll have a couple of hair ties because there is nothing worse for me than not having a hair tie when I need one badly. This is a face lotion that I need when I'm having my needling done. This is my uh, trolley coin for the grocery store. I have a couple of feminine products. We can throw those in there as well. I will throw in my pawpaw ointment for my lips and my nose during 
the winter weather, um, I get like a cracked nose and it, around my nostrils and really, really hurts. So I'll throw that down inside. The item that I need down inside here is my earbuds. I just wind them up like so and just shove them on top. And that is everything I would carry inside this mini pochette as a necessity catch-all for me and the exact same items that would go inside this as a catch-all for me. I just put all the exact same items that I had in the mini pochette, which I use on a daily basis. I just put them inside the toiletry to show you guys. So it roughly holds the same. Obviously, size-wise, I'm going to be able to squish more into this toiletry because even though they are so similar, obviously those dimensions are bigger. So here's a little sample lipstick. Um, and here is a little sample mascara. Maybe I want that. And is there anything else? Maybe another lip pencil. We can probably just squeeze that in so I can get a wee bit more in that toiletry on a daily basis as like a necessity pouch than I could in the mini pochette. I do know that for sure. However, I do know that a lot of people do use these both as makeup pouches, as makeup bags, uh, and and keep makeup in both of these items, not a problem. Uh, if you don't have an issue with things spilling and opening, which I don't, I, I don't have a problem at all. It's just very handy that this is wipeable, but unfortunately the mini pochette isn't because that's not what it's necessarily made for. However, both can be used as makeup pouches, which is really, really nice. So how much can we fit? Obviously we're gonna fit more in this because of the size dimensions, but I will say the mini pochette gives it a good run for its money. You can get a lot in here. So makeup wise, let's go. Lip uh, liner, lip gloss by Chanel. I will go back and throw in my lip balm as well, just to nourish, which is nice. A little uh, a compact brush. So we've got a little uh, compact brush by Artiste there. We can throw that down inside. We can throw that Dior mascara sample back in there. I can throw my Maybelline Fit Me concealer down inside there if I wanted to pop that in. Another lip pencil by Revlon. I love that. I had this sleek palette specifically to put in my cosmetic case because I knew it would fit. However, it does fit very nicely in the mini pochette as well. And that gives me my powders in one compact, which is so fantastic. So I have a blush, a highlight, and um, a bronzer or a contour. So that's all in one. And we have our brush down inside there. So that's perfect. I have my Chanel double-sided facets mirror if I wanted that as well. This is where we're going to have to, we're going to start squeezing stuff in. Stuff is not going to fit that might fit in the toiletry far easier. But if I just start to shove, it is getting in there. So that's roughly about it. One other sort of long item. This is my uh, little uh, Lip Forever sample by Lancome. I can just put that on top for a bit of a lippy if I needed it. But I would say at a push, that is probably... Is that going to even do up? I'm not quite sure. Hang on, let me see. So we'll shove that down the side and yeah, there we go. So that is a full full jam-packed mini pochette as a makeup case that is your max i mean that's even it's not buckling the zipper but it's definitely bulging and completely full so that is all you are getting in this mini pochette as a full makeup case okay so i'm going to take the exact same items and put them down inside the toiletry 15 and now this is obviously what this uh cosmetic case is used is meant for is obviously toiletries because that's what it is so all of them back in same way so just stacking them there is my sleek palette i know that fits perfectly there is my facets mirror that's going to fit nicely and we already have more room than the mini pochette there is room to spare it holds everything no bulging it's obviously got the thicker width there but just by dimensions we know that it's bigger 
Um, so as an actual makeup case, we can probably even get some more in there if we wanted another. This is my Savvy Powder Brush. I could pop that down inside. Could I get anything else? Maybe my paw paw ointment might get in there with a bit of a squeeze, but yeah. Okay, so now that is bulging, you can sort of see that is completely full, but that would definitely not get in the mini pochette for sure. And lastly, these two little pouches for going out as like a little clutch. What can we get inside it? Well, obviously we've just seen that the toiletry is gonna hold more, um, so, Let's go ahead and put items in it for going out. You're going to need some cash. So using cash openly, not putting that inside a clay um, is obviously going to fit in both items. Just folding it up like that is going to fit perfectly. I'll just do this comparison like so. Putting cash in both obviously fits. But if you did want to put your cash into a clay, a clay fits perfectly in both of these little pouches. So if you did want to compartmentalize, put your cash into a clay with cards and whatnot, which is obviously going to hold, you can do that. But having it loosely, we do know it fits in both of these pouches perfectly. I am sadly going to say that an iPhone 7 Plus, which is what I have, does not fit into these items. Both of them, it doesn't fit. It's not going to turn on the side. It's not going to turn on the side and fit um, and do up like so. So your phone isn't going to fit in this item. But maybe you have like an iPhone 5 or an iPhone 4 even, and that might fit. I think I did try my iPhone 4 when I had it in this mini pochette, and it does fit. Some cards here. I'm just showing you that cards obviously fit down inside. You might want to take a little bit of change with you, and that does fit down inside. Your car key as well does fit down inside. And maybe the... Other thing for necessities you might want is a packet of tissue. Um, so, and then that's it. We're not using it as a makeup case. We're using it as kind of like an essentials minus uh, a larger size phone. And then that's everything. So you could just have your car key, money, a little bit of tissues. And uh, yeah, that all fits inside. So that's the mini pochette. And so quite obviously that's gonna fit inside the toiletry. There goes the money, there goes your cars, there goes the extra coins, maybe for meters, your car key you can go down inside there, the extra pack of tissue. And because this is bigger, if you did want to, let's see, throw in a lippy or a lip balm, you can do that. You can do that in the toiletry 15 because you do have that extra space. Zips up perfectly and there you go. Okay, so that ends my review on these two beautiful SLGs. My final thoughts. Do I recommend both of these items? Absolutely. And my answer to you, Jane, on do you need both in your collection? Is it not just worth it dollar-wise, but is it worth for the use? Are you doubling up on SLGs? Are you doubling up on pouches, which essentially they are pochettes? That's what these are. I would say no. You are not doubling up with these two items simply because they offer two different, two different variations with the linings um, and you have your chain on the mini pochette. You can use it as kind of a small little handbag, a little clutch as so. So you can use them in their own functions. So such as a catch-all with all your necessary needs, um, not just makeup. And this can be just makeup and lotions and things like that alone. So so because they sort of have their own, you know, headings, their own titles, it's not doubling up. I don't believe it is doubling up. I use them both individually. I am pochette obsessed. I have way too many pouches. 
but I absolutely love them. They make me super happy and I get use out of them. They are usable items for me. So it is definitely worth it. So I definitely recommend both of these Louis Vuitton items. So that concludes my head to head battle of the mini pochette and the toiletry 15 guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so guys, that would be really great. I will see you in my next video when I'm not looking so Selena-esque. Take care guys. Peace.